Okay, so we can agree that doing things the old-fashioned way, it takes time, mm -hmm. and that means a local company can't make quite as many candy canes as businesses that have shipped production overseas. But Doshers still believes they make the best over in Newtown, and our Bob Herzog went to work. If you're into doing traditional things at Christmas, right down to the candy cane, you may want to consider getting those candy canes from Doshers Candy Company. They've been making these candy canes since 1871, and they pretty much make them the same way now as they did back then. We are not new to the game. We are the first in the game, and now one of the few remaining candy cane companies left in America. Greg Clark knows those peppermint candy canes are the main draw here in the retail store this time of year, even the broken pieces. We save all of our broken pieces, and we literally sell by the pound thousands and thousands of pounds throughout the U.S. And it's more than just peppermint in here. Candy canes and other flavors, French chews, the chew day is especially popular right now. Candy buttons. Oh, and take a look at how those are made. Isn't that cool? Look at, look at, look back here, new speed as it's driven down. This machine has been cranking these out since 1905, and that fits right in with everything else you'll find here in the back of the building. Old contraptions and copper kettles. It's like I found a golden ticket. It's Willy Wonka. It's Willy Wonka. Now here's how those gourmet candy canes get made. So that's our corn syrup coming in. It's a sweetener. That sugar, water, and syrup mixture heads to the vacuum pump to have the moisture sucked out. <laughs> then the resulting candy goo is spread out into three blobs to cool. One blob gets the peppermint oil and becomes the white of the candy cane. Look at that. There's your Snow White. This is called beating in the red. One blob becomes the red of the candy cane. Dosher's candy canes has a big red stripe around the, each candy cane. Yep. And then three those. pinstripes, yep. what we call. Yep. That's, those are her pinstripes right now. And the last blob becomes the shell to protect the shine. It's hard to see this, but it will be, you know, 1,400 candy canes coming out of here. Ultimately, you get a great big peppermint brick before another machine pulls it into a rope. We're going to go through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sizing wheels. And then another cuts it apart stick by stick. The final shape, though, requires a personal touch, and it's positioned on the line with a very descriptive name. And here's our star hooker. You are a fantastic hooker. That is, that is quite a title. She's hooking each candy cane. In case you're wondering, that's probably not a good job for me. Oh my gosh, I'm horrible at this. I'm making, <laughs> I'm making candy cane horseshoes. You need to go back to hooker training school. I do. I'm, sorry. I'm the worst hooker ever. Well, at least they'll still taste good. At Dosher's Candy, the tradition remains unbroken. Even if some of the candy canes get broken along the way. Just, just so you know, Bob's candy canes are not in the store, so you're not going to get those kind of jacked up <laughs> candy canes. But these these well, we are his, yeah, we and brought they're a not box. jacked up. I don't think they look as bad, but maybe if we saw the real ones, well, he had, they, would, oh, the they original would be more ones. perfect. I don't know. I think he did a good job. He said he felt like Lucille Ball in that candy scene from the oh, sitcom. Where I said, did you eat them all? <laughs> no, he didn't. It tastes good, right? It's really good. Yeah. My Thank first Dilsha's candy cane. <laughs> Appreciate you. Thumbs up. <laughs>